Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go if you want to? Hey, thanks everybody for joining us today, Live Music Nation Podcast. I'm your host, Jake Gill. Today, we are with Deb Polin Vanaken from Waterloo, Iowa, and the National Cattle Congress. Deb, thanks for joining us. Great to see you. Deb, give me a little background on you. Where'd you grow up? And uh, tell us about your career. So uh, I grew up here in Waterloo, Iowa. Uh, moved away, had a career in banking industry, uh, Minneapolis, places in Iowa. And uh, my husband and I, a few years ago, decided to move back here. And I have since then retired from banking. And uh, so now I help my family with their sheep farm and exhibiting sheep nationally and community service. And community service. And then, so what is your position with the National Cattle Congress? I am the president of the board. Okay, very good. So give us a little background on, on your event. What does it look like? What does it consist of? So the background, our affair actually started in 1910, and we started as a large dairy show, a huge dairy show. In fact, we are the precursor to the World Dairy Expo in Madison. It moved from Waterloo and the National East Street Dairy Cattle Congress up there. Um, they didn't like it when we started adding other species of livestock. They needed their own special place, which is fine. But then we became, we were a 10-day fair um, at one point, but we are now a five-day fair. And um, we have entertainment, we have, we're really working on increasing participation with our home arts area, but we do have a large dairy show. And we're also um, making plans for some very significant improvements to our facilities, including a facility that would be great for more concerts and other types of entertainment. So when does this event happen for you guys? Um, we're in mid-September. Kind of moves a little bit, um, depending on there's also a large regional fair in Spencer, Iowa, on the other side of the state. And so we don't want to compete with each other. We want to complement each other and kind of use some of the same vendors sometimes. So we're about mid-September. Okay. Now, as a, as a child, did you have a history with the farm? Oh, yes. Yes, I did. Um, I, my family, there were three generations of us that were on the family farm. Uh, my family has been exhibiting uh, sheep especially Hampshire sheep since 1926. Uh, and so we have a long history of that. I was always the one that was a little bit on the younger side of the cousins. And it was always like, uh, Deb, you're kind of in the way. Would you go in and like make us some cookies? And now I'm the one that came back to be on the farm. Oh, very so, good, very good. What, what for you is the most rewarding part of your job? My job, um, it's getting the community engaged. And you know, we are a fair for a very short period of the time of the year. The rest of the year, we're really a rental facility. And so we can have a huge economic impact on our community and bring a lot of things that our, our community needs to grow. So um, I enjoy working on that and engaging the community. And we're a regional fair, so we're engaging from a, a, a wider audience than a lot of other fairs are. Okay, now, and, and all ages? Yes, all ages. Okay, and then do people have to qualify for your fair or is it open entry? Oh, it's open. We have a youth fair um, divisions because we really, really want to provide opportunities for youth to be engaged. Right. And we also have open divisions. Very good, very good. All right, Deb, I'm a live music guy. So I got to know, what's the best concert you've ever seen in your entire life? You know, there actually, I have to say there are two. I saw Elton John at uh, Hilton Coliseum when I was in college at, at Iowa State. and um, But I have to say Garth Brooks, when he performed at the Cattle Congress, really is one of my absolute favorites. Fantastic. A fabulous entertainer. All right. Second question would be, dead or alive, you could bring one act to the National Cattle Congress. Who would you bring? You know, I've thought about that. And really, I'd love to bring Garth Brooks back. I would so love to see him back at the Cattle Congress and see him perform again. That sounds good. Deb, how do people find out about the National Cattle Congress and the other events that you have going on? Uh, NationalCattleCongress.com is where you'll find all our information. We provide information out there on our history and on our events that are ongoing at this time and in the future. All right. Very good. Deb, thanks for joining us today on Live Music Nation podcast. Thank you, Jake. Great to meet you. Well, baby, I'm on it with a bottle of wine and an old dirt road. Are you ready to go if you want